Hello and welcome to another one of our videos. This is our 2018 BMW 430 Grand Coupe M Sport. This car is finished in sapphire black metallic. Probably worth pointing out this is the automatic with the ZF 8B gearbox. The car has covered just 19,866 miles. There's a nice uh, amount of spec on this car. I'm going to take you around the car and show you the paintwork, uh, point out any little bits and pieces on the paintwork that we might find. The whole car has been detailed and machine polished to a really high level. Um, guys spend a lot of time machine polishing each individual panel to bring up that lovely glossy shine that you can see on the car. It's not a two minute job and they do a really great job and um, we have Peters that does the interior of the car. He specializes on the interior and uh, I don't think you'll find a cleaner car. They're really nice the way they come up. So we've got the LED lights down at the front. We've got front and rear parking sensors on this 430 and front fog lights. Just come down and show you. There's very little in the way of um, stone chips or anything at the front. And just come in close, you can't really see. We've got these nice black gloss M Performance grills. They are genuine BMW ones, I can assure you. I know, because I pay the bills. <laughs> and they are, they're a lot cheap, uh, sorry, they're a lot more dearer than the cheaper ones you can buy online. And there's not too much wrong with the ones online. A lot of them are double slatted, but I don't know. The BMW ones, they're, uh, they're twice the price, but uh, that's the ones that we fitted. And they just, it's funny, when you put them in, they sort of fit a lot nicer as well. And I've come across the front of the bonnet. It's very, very good. There's very minimal, let me just try and get this in focus. Look, I mean, that's getting in really close to find a tiny little speck. You can see all the colors when you come in that close. There we go, let's come back out. So just come along the front here, minimal stone chips. I think there's two little chips or three little chips there that we've only just touched in. So they sort of highlighting themselves because we haven't polished over the top of them yet, but it's very, very minimal. There's nothing up on the top. Let me just get this back in focus. So let's just come back out. So that's just taking you in close and just showing you the condition of the paintwork and it's really nice. I'll just come around this side. So we've got the 704M 19 inch alloy wheels. So essentially the car's got the M Sport Plus package and we've got the M Sport brakes. They're a bigger caliper, bigger disc, bigger pad for better braking. We look down the sides of the car. Now when the cars come in, occasionally you get little ding dents here, there, and you know, on the, the doors and stuff, but all of ours are taken out. We have a professional dent guy that comes out and any little ding dents, shallow ones, anything, they're all taken out. If you look down the side of that car, I mean, we had a gentleman in recently who's not long purchased the car and sadly where he bought it, they have, obviously have no uh, attention to detail because the car was just riddled with dents everywhere and poor previous paintwork for that matter as well. But this car is all lovely. Back brakes there. And if we look around the filler cap, no scratches, really nice and clean. This car also runs on Ad Blue, so better for the environment. The Ad Blue is purified P basically. And what that does is it splits the nitrous oxide into nitrogen and oxygen, which we can breathe safely. So not all diesels are you know, dirty or bad for you. Look at the back of the car, I've got those nice LED lights. Let me come back out the way. There we go. And if I come in close, just want to show you. 
even the exhaust pipes polished all the way around. If we look at the trim at the bottom and the back of the bumper, look at the condition. It's all really nice. Bit of a bad reflection in there. That'd be me. <laughs> Top of the bumper, look. No scratches. This car's obviously been debadged. I think that was from new, actually. I think it might be on the report. Some people don't like badges. If we look at the top as well. All the way across, no nasty marks on there. A lot of reflection. We've got some protection glass at the back of the car as well. We'll just, while we're here, we'll take a look down this side. So you've got a black car in a very light coloured showroom, so it plays havoc with the camera. Keep trying to focus and get the light to, there we go, see that? So all the wheels are nice. Just take a look down the side. No ripples or anything. Let's just do this front wheel and we've done all of the wheels. So you can see that this wheel also and she's running on uh, Bridgestone Potenzas. It's a good amount of tread on all of the tires. Let's just come back out, show you the car. Really nice lines on the Grand Coupes. I mean, essentially it's, it's the coupe with uh, an extra pair of doors and a hatchback. And this is why they're so popular because they're so practical, I guess, you know, if you want to put something in the boot, if you want to go out with your friends, but you've still got the looks and the sleekness. I posted the three series as a you know a saloon car, so it's it's higher, it's not quite as sleek, still a good car, but the four series has just got a little bit more finesse about it. We've got uh, puddle lights under there. The door card, I'm just letting you see all of that door edge over here in the middle of the screen. No damage, no marks, and uh, the handle is all okay. No marks on there. All of the ivory leather, this one is, let me just check. Yeah, this is the ivory. We've got the Harman Kardon sound system. So 16 speakers with the Harman Kardon system. There's two in the door there. Uh, additional one up in front of the professional media. There's speakers under the seat, and then I think it's up in the back corners, there are more uh, speakers. And then we've got the contrasting stitching on this nice Dakota leather. So it's like a darker stitch. And all of the, the ivory, just for those who don't know, oyster is a bit darker and more caramel and the ivory is, is more like ivory, I guess, <laughs> hence the name, it's a bit lighter. It's nicer, in all fairness, I think. Now we've got electric lumber and electric seats. The electric lumber being the little round button here and the one above it, the bolster button. That's for the side bolsters here and over here. They inflate and basically that'll hold you in the seat. You can see the lighting around the uh, climate control area. You can turn that to what they call sport, which is white LED. It's currently in classic. We've got the carbon effect trim. There's the professional media wheel, which you can write on the top, so you can use your fingers to write on there. We've got electric uh, heated seats. Come back to that area, just this little, underneath the doors are lit as well. And the color of the lighting changes under there. Door handle on this side is brand new. We've just replaced it this morning. It obviously scratched it. Maybe the seats were down and it just got a scratch on the edge of it. We've changed that. A lot of people won't, they're not cheap to change. I think even in the trade, they're about £95 plus VAT. Oh, my fingers are in the way. All lovely and clean under there. All of the leather in lovely 
condition and the pearl chrome trim at the top. That's what they call that pearl chrome trim. And you can see the Harman Kardon speakers in the back doors. No scuff marks. Let's take a look at this door sill. The seat belts haven't been jammed in the door at all. If we come all the way around, all of these rubbers. Now, in a lot of the videos, I show the rubbers. And the reason for that is occasionally, especially the driver one, they can get torn, especially people that have their seat a little bit further back when they're getting in there. Bottom tends to brush past it and the, the flipping, that sort of, and they, they split. And we've just had a car come in and it's got a little split and therefore that will have to be changed. But this one's all good. All of the seats in the back are nice. We've got fold down center armrest that will have cup holders in it as well. All of the levers really nice. There's no scratches or dig marks in the lever, no creases, not had a baby seat or anything. The crease you can see there in the middle is just where I've been leaning in. It's almost like a handprint or I've been leaning into the car. And all in lovely condition here as well. Got sliding front armrest on this one as well. All of the original mats in the car. There she is, Grand Coupe. So we'll come around to the back. We, you can open the tailgate with the key and you can also close it with the key. It's gonna show you up under here, first of all. And you'll see that there's no nasty damage or scuff marks. And again, the reason I'm showing this is because some cars, you know, people put stuff in the boot and these can be very untidy. And that is why you get price difference. You know, when you're looking for auto trader and you're looking at different cars and you're saying to yourself, so why is that one 1,500 pound or two grand more than that one? Well, it's about the spec. It's about the ownership. It's about the service history. It's about the condition. It's about how much effort has been put into making this car a nice car, mechanically making sure it's really up together aesthetically detailing the car properly, machine polishing it, trying to make the car like new. And this is what you're paying for. You know, if you're gonna buy a car, they're not cheap cars, are they? You know, what do you wanna spend your money on? Um, some people just want a cheap car and therefore car supermarket, fine. Don't do a lot to their cars, get them in and turn them out. But if you want something a bit nicer, somebody's put a bit more love, and a bit more thought into what they're doing, been a bit more selective with what they're buying, then that's why you're going to an independent. I'll just show you along the top there. Oh, really nice. You know, we get quite a few people that come in and show us their part exchanges and tell us about the hundreds of pounds they spent detailing and ceramic coating and stuff. Well, here you're getting a car that you don't need to have it detailed and spend hundreds of pounds doing it because it's already been done for you. And if you want a ceramic coating, you can always put that on, but your car's already prepped for it. We do Life Shine. There's a reason that we do Life Shine, and that's because it's a British company. It's a good product. It does what it says it does. It's got a lifetime guarantee for the time that you own the car. They guarantee against bird dropping stains on their paintwork. And what they promise they deliver on, but they don't promise too much. I think there's a lot of these products out there that say so much, but they actually don't deliver on it all and they can cost a fortune. And some of them are very, very hard to um, apply and they're very time consuming. And uh, Life Shine is, I believe, a very good product, a very good price point. And it's something that we can do. And it's all about the preparation of the car, basically. You know, you can put any product on any surface, but if you haven't got a good surface to start with, it's a bit like painting the walls of your house. If they're all covered in bits and stuff, they're gonna look the same when you paint them, just a bit fresher, but still have all the bits in. And where the cars have been detailed to such a great level, you get the right results. And it's about the application, who puts it on, how they put it on, and have they put it on right. 
and they didn't cheat and try and take the shortcuts. And that's where you take shortcuts, the obvious happens, the product doesn't live up to its expectations. A lot of that happens. Put the ZF gearbox there. Now this car's got the adaptive M Sport suspension as well, which is a really nice feature and you don't find that feature on many of the cars. We've got the Harman Kardon sound system, which we've already mentioned, sun protection glass. We've got the folding anti-dazzle mirrors. So you can fold the mirrors in. They won't fold at the moment, I've just realized because I've been talking for too long, so the car shut itself down. Um, you can do that with the key fob as well. There's also auto dim uh, dipping on the near side when you're going to reverse. Right, let me just see if I've got the key in my pocket. I have. Okay. Right, now I've pressed the locking. You can see the mirrors fold in, fold out. Same both sides. Let's jump into the car. The bolster of the driver's seat that I've just jumped into is fine. There's no wear on it. I just realized that I didn't show you that. So we have the professional media and uh, we've got high beam assist on this car as well we've got the electric seats with memory on the driver's side now by pressing this button up here we can actually move these apps oh sorry apps these windows or tiles some people refer to them as around i use the iDrive wheel down here this has got all the shortcuts around it. And as I was saying, you can write with your finger on here. So if we go into maps, add new destination, let's try and get a better focus. There we go. Dress input. And then as you can see over here, you can use voice or you can write. So if you're not left-handed, don't worry. You'll soon pick it up. It's quite forgiving if your handwriting's not quite up to scratch. Yes. As you can see, and then it all shortcuts. Yeah. And you can do postcode as well. In fact, if you're doing a postcode and there's a gap, you literally strike across like that for a gap when you're using the your finger on the pad. Just a little tip. So I'll come out of there. In fact, I was gonna just show you, oh, let's go map, sorry. Confuse everything. So if we go on to, these are all the sub menus as you can see down the side. You can go in there for route guidance, enter destination, which we've just been spoken instructions, traffic information, additional information. If you go into there, satellite images, if you turn that off, it goes to that screen. You come down here, map views. So in direction of travel and as I point out in a lot of videos, we can use these numbers down here to also save some of the windows. Um, so for built up areas, you might want to change, because if you're in perspective, we'll put perspective on number eight. So I'm pressing number eight, I saved it in there. And rather than going to the sub menus over here, we're just gonna press number seven and that flips it to that view and if you've got plenty of roads and you're looking for the third junction, this is a better view to look at. So you can flip between those, let's come out of there. Um, let's pop in here while we're here, my vehicle. This is where we've got all the different settings. You'll see the sub menus down the right. Um, we can change the lighting in the car that we mentioned, etc. cetera. Um, what's in here? Uh, displays. Now, go down to displays, control display, brightness for your screen, etc, etc. Units are in there as well. Right, driver profiles, this is a handy one. You select your driver profile, it uh, links it to the key. So if you've got um, two people driving the car on their separate keys, you can have a different driver profile and from what I've worked out they memorize your radio stations everything for that that driver set up in the car it will um, when they start the car with that key 
it will memorize all those settings. So really handy if there's two of you driving the car. We come in here, we've got all our tire pressure warning. We've got our add blue tank. Another tip, don't fill the tank up when you've got quite a lot of range left, like this has got four and a half thousand. Wait till it gets quite low and then fill it up because there is uh, an expiry date on the Ad Blue when you buy it. And what you don't want to do is keep leaving an older Ad Blue in there. So let it run right the way down so that you keep your Ad Blue fresh and you won't get any problems with that. So if we go over to here, service requirements. So at the top, let's do the top first. This is the previous service. So this will be the PDI, pre-delivery inspection or pre-delivery check as BMW call it. And then there'll be oil and microfilter, generally. There we go. So they're every two years or, or 19,000 miles. That one was done on time. As you can see, it only done 13,000 miles, so it's been done in two years. This will be a brake fluid change. There we go. And then we have just done, as you can see by the date, it wasn't actually due a service. It had about 6,000 miles remaining on the engine oil, but we, we have all the cars checked over by a BMW specialist. They're all plugged in. All of the um, diagnostics is checked to see there's no fault codes. And he phoned me up and he said, okay, it's not really doing anything, but I know you want to do a, an oil change. Uh, and I also suggested that we do a fuel filter. So we've done sort of like a, an early, an early uh, service, which, um, you know, we've decided to do the fuel filter and that because of the age of the vehicle. Just, it's only done 19,000 miles, but I've done it anyway. So the car is all good to go. We come back out, you'll see brake fluid's not due for another couple of two years in April it was. There's the 19,000 miles for the oil. Let's look at the pads, 23,000 miles on the front, 49 on the back, so lots of life left in there. So come back out there. Media, so got your dab stations, FM, music collection, um, Robbie's phones in there. That was uh, the previous phone that was linked up in here. So that could have been the driver. We go down here, we can delete that phone. And that's obviously where you connect the phone and you've got Bluetooth audio in there. And uh, if we go into sound, it's got the Harman Kardon Sound Logic 7. And you've got the graphic equalizer there. And you can adjust all of this if you wish. I don't see the point. I'm sure they know what they're doing when they set these stereos up, but if you like a bit more bass, you can change it. Connective drive, uh, okay. So this is a part where you can subscribe to a few more apps. And pretty much notifications where your messages would come through on the car. If you link up to the BMW, um, oh, their app basically. Got the heated seats down here, dual climate control. In fact, let's just pop the lights on. There we go, there's that lighting underneath. So you can have it in white, but it doesn't really show up for the camera. Right, so we've got the eight-speed ZF gearbox, sport mode when it's in drive, we've got sport mode on the left. And then the rocker button here, you'll see this button in all of the cars. And basically, because it's in all of the cars, it doesn't mean it does all of the things that it shows you. So Eco Pro and Comfort, the suspension on this car, because it has the adaptive M Sport suspension, will be softer. There's a valve on the shock absorbers and it allows the fluid to travel to the other side, allows a bit of fluid out of one side to make it softer, um, and the ride will be softer. In Eco Pro, it's worth pointing out as well, you have all these different settings here and you'll notice the efficiency's gone down to 77%. So I'll just zoom in down there. And then by putting these back on, efficiency's gone up to 92%. Coasting, basically when you come off the throttle, the car will roll on. It's almost like it goes into neutral rather than having engine braking. Eco Pro for climate control is probably an electric uh, something to do with the climate it doesn't demand so much power so it doesn't pull so much off the engine and then if you it tips uh, it's giving you a tip to drive at 75 we've got 92 percent so let's take it down to 70 and you'll see we're now getting 94 percent efficiency 
So these are little settings you can play around with. So let's go back. So comfort is a balanced setting for everything, including this the weight of the steering wheel. We go into sport, where we can have the sport displays. You can change the units on there as well. This is where the suspension will then stiffen up and give you much better handling. And uh, if you come into this uh, option here, drive chain is the power and then the chassis is for the shock absorbers. So you can choose when you go into sport, whether it changes both drive chain and chassis or just chassis or drive chain. So when you go into sport, you could have it so it just changes the power and allows the suspension to stay in soft or the other way around you have a stiffer suspension but you don't get more power from the engine for the ECU we'll put it back to that one so really nice uh, feature the adaptive suspension definitely um, more comfortable than the standard suspension worth pointing that out um, we've got speed limiter and cruise control here on the steering wheel and then on this side, we've got the voice activation and the mode button here is for the full black panel display, FM, AM, music collections, the hard drive, 80 gig hard drive in the car, DAB, and you use the rolling wheel to scroll down for your stations. Don't know why I chose hot gold, but there you go. As your music and you can also use your phone as well when your phone's connected you can have um, Apple CarPlay fitted into these cars not necessarily through BMW I think they only do it when uh, you've got the telephone or the GPS antenna but other companies can fit uh, an item into the car that will give you the Apple CarPlay if it hasn't got that. So, twin power turbo. Essentially, that is a twin scroll turbo. Twin scroll means there are two inputs, uh, yeah, intake, sorry, into the turbo. And it's worked out that two cylinders will go into one port, two into the other, etc. On a six cylinder engine, they space it out, uh, maybe into three ports and three ports. But it's to do with the timing as well. It's the pulsing of the engine and it's worked out so it runs, um, the pulsing of the airflow is smoother going into the turbo. It's more efficient, less lag, better on fuel economy. Uh, twin scroll, basically. If you Google it, it's quite interesting actually. And if you look at the pictures, because the older turbos, they had a lot more lag and uh, it's a thing of the past now, these twin scroll turbos. So all nice and clean under there, all cleaned by hand. The guys spend a lot of time making sure the engine bays are nice. I'm really fussy, so I don't get much choice, but they do a great job. So full praise to them. And look at that, just as shiny under there as it is on the outside. So hopefully I've given you um, all the information you need. We have lots of finance options, warranty options. We've got some great warranty options actually. And um, if you have any questions about the car, please give us a call, be happy to help. Thank you for watching and uh, speak to you soon. I'll just walk round one more time I think. I just want to show you that interior colour, how well it goes with the sapphire black, the ivory white. Lovely. Take care. Thanks for watching. Bye.